The Super Bowl is one of the hardest events in the entire world to sneak into. But I got in. Oh my god! Yo. He's in! Yo. And this, this is how I did it. Here's the plan. Sneak into the stadium two days before the Super Bowl starts while security is less intense. Once we're inside, it's pretty much just a big game of hide and go seek with security until the game starts. You're making it in, I promise. See you at the top. Oh, dude, he's so close. Oh, you got this, Andrew. Uh, no, can't come in this way. Oh, okay, my bad, sorry. Dang it. We might have underestimated the amount of security that was going to be guarding the Super Bowl. The security measures for Super Bowl 56 are tight. On the ground, in the air, and at sea, fighter jets are standing by at the ready. After a full night of preparing, running on 24 hours of no sleep, it's time for me to make my attempt. Let's do it. Peace out, guys. He's f***ed. I made it all the way to where my friend Andrew previously got turned around. Okay, I'm gonna send it. My strategy is to wait until the guard is distracted by an outgoing vehicle so I can sneak past without them seeing me. Uh-huh. Oh! I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay. I made it in. Bro, no, no. He's joking, bro. No, he's gotta be fucking with us. Dude, no, he's getting closer. Look, look, he's look in. how close he is. Oh, he's he's not in yet, but. As you can see, there are no construction workers in this zone, so I go into a bathroom to change. After throwing away my construction outfit, I walked a whole lap around the building. He's just walking around the stadium. I, I think he's, uh, yeah, I think he's looking for doors. The only way to enter this stadium is to scan a valid credential. You guys don't happen to know where the East VIP entrance is, do you? There's a tent and an entrance right here. The lanyard thing, they're so specific. Barely have a picture. While my friends were creating fake credentials, I decided to see if there was another way to enter the stadium. I waited by an emergency exit, and after about three hours of waiting, someone finally walked out of the door. But it turns out all the doors were locked. I tried every door in this staircase until there was only one door left. Dude, he's in! Oh my, oh god. my god! He's Yo. in! <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> Holy s***! National level security, by the way. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! He didn't take any snacks or anything. No, he's good. He Dude, walking through the stadium is the most stressful thing in the entire world because I don't actually have credentials. This is my credential, is just a lanyard and I tuck it in right there. It's a different lanyard than the one everyone else is wearing. Oh my gosh, like every single person I walk by, I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Just trying to zigzag in and out of people so no one sees me. I made it to the bathroom and now I have to stay here for, what time is it? Turns out it's only 12 p.m., which means I still have 24 hours until the gates even open. I genuinely did not think I was gonna make it this far. This is literally my home for the next 24 hours. This is stupid. Just in case security was paying attention, I decided to move to a different bathroom every hour. And when walking from one bathroom to the next, I had to make sure to seem so busy that I didn't have time to talk to anybody. Working hard or hardly working, am I right? I am now in a bathroom stall. It's on the top floor of the stadium, so there was like not a single one. Be there right away. I'm literally gonna fire you if you do this one more time. My friends are having a hard time making the credentials. I'm so tired. All you have to do is get passes, man. I mean, and they're right there in FedEx. But I too do not feel like getting it right now. Imagine the viewer right now, the people watching this, and like, damn, these kids had a pass. They had a guy on the inside. They were an hour away, and he didn't want to get up. I've been awake for so long. I'm so hungry. My butt hurts. Both my legs have fallen asleep. All right, what do you think? They look pretty legit, bro. I'm starting to hallucinate and see things that aren't there. I've been in the bathroom for too long. Everyone is gone. So I stayed in the bathroom for a little bit too much, too long. I heard the sweeper guys start coming in. I, I didn't have time to put on the spy glasses. I just ran. 
and I'm running through, and there's not a single person in the entire stadium. Hopefully, they didn't see me. Basically, I'm hiding on the roof of this restaurant right now. I'm literally blocked off on all sides, except for right there. If someone walks right there, they'll be able to see me. Yeah, I just had this little thing to block me, which isn't a lie. So if my feet go into right there, and then my head is kind of blocked by this machine, but if they get just the right angle, they can still see me. So I kind of have my back turned to them like this, so hopefully they just think I'm like a sack of garbage or something, I don't know. But eventually someone is going to be walking up and down these stairs because they're cleaning every single staircase in this. I wonder what Ben's doing right now. Two days of no sleep, but I can't sleep because of how much anxiety I have right now. But we're sneaking in the Super Bowl. The most secure building. And all it took was one reckless little Ben. I took a picture on my phone every hour just because I knew that you guys watching wouldn't believe that I wasn't able to sleep after two days, making it now three days of no sleep. That That's genuinely how terrified I was. I am dying in every way possible, but I'm still psyched because of how crazy it is that I'm actually right about to sneak into the Super Bowl. And this, uh, yes, this is the face of someone who hasn't slept in three days eaten or drinking anything in two days, has been physically shivering the last five hours, breathing in nothing but dust, is absolutely terrified I'm gonna get arrested. But I can't tell what reality is anymore because I'm hallucinating so hard that I actually think these generators are like talking with each other to create some evil plot to kill me. But no, I actually was hallucinating pretty bad. Keep in mind, Ben made it in, no pass. Yeah, these are, these are for up. Ben, one in each pocket. No. Holy I guess we'll see what happens now. I'm very easily viewed. If someone just walks over right there, they can see me. So I think I have to go to the bathroom. I didn't get any sleep. I was too scared that someone's gonna find me the whole night. So I snuck back into the bathrooms to wait for my friends. The only problem was my phone was at like 1%. So I can't rely on meeting up with my friends to give me my fake credentials. But I always have a backup plan. So I changed my attire again to what makes me look like a production assistant for the NBC network that I got screen printed the day before. It's seven hours till the gates open. But I made it in the Super Bowl and used my last 1% of my battery to prove it. For all the haters that said I couldn't sneak into the Super Bowl, check this out. What up? Yeah, so what? I might be really super, super duper dirty and disgusting because I just climbed through a bunch of vents. But I'm here, bruh. What happened to my friends? Uh, they ended up sneaking in too. That was it. I'm going to tag them down in the description if you want to watch their video of how they did it. Not only do they end up getting in, they end up getting so far in that they're hanging out with like the halftime Super Bowl people. They got crazy VIP access. I wish my phone battery didn't die because that seems really fun. Anyways, it was a success. And the only thing I can do now is hope the police don't show up at my door because I'm pretty sure posting this is very illegal and